sluttiest thing I've ever done. I this one guy one night and then his best friend the other night. Bye. God. I know how to play the game. Okay. I know mm-hmm. how to do this and that. Yeah. I would only date a man who understands that, okay, I'm going to go out. If a guy offers to buy me a Louis Vuitton bag, I'm getting that Louis Vuitton bag. Right. I am not going to say no, mm-hmm. but I'm going to get it. If a guy off, cause guys, when you go to Miami, they'll just give you money. Like they'll be like $5,000. Yeah. Take this, take that. I will take that. Like I'll be like, okay, thanks. You know, a percentage of the population is actually over six feet. Well, how much is the percentage? Yeah. It's, it's like it's like it's a small percentage. It's a, it's, I would <laughs> yeah. say it's like like twelve percent like of the male population is over six feet and that's tall. Like, not it. So y'all disqualifying like eighty five plus percent of the people 88. of men. Eighty eight percent of the men over single. over height. Right. We, over height only. Like y'all didn't even get to nothing else. Like. You ain't even get about dick size, about <laughs> how much money he made. Potential. But yeah, like, so my thing is women have these yeah. expectations and that's fair. But are you willing to compete for those men? Because those men are high, they're in high demand. Like every right. female wants that type of man. Like, you know? Guys, invest in cat food and box wine because there are going to be a lot of single, lonely, miserable women out there confused and wondering, where can I get a quality guy? All these women are clamoring for this top 15 to 20% guy. A guy who's over six feet tall, a guy who makes six figures, who's in excellent shape. But why should that man pick you? Why should he invest his time, his effort, his energy, his genetics into you? And all these women think that they're special. They think that, you know, all I have to be is me. And when you ask them, so what do you bring to the table? You know, why should I choose you? They're like, what do you mean? They get an attitude. They think, because I'm just existing. You should be grateful for me. But here's the thing. Who's more valuable? That man or that woman? Now, we know we both need each other to procreate and have children. So by default, that's negated. But what do men bring to the table versus women? Men bring protection, resources, a vision, leadership, goals, ambition, drive, all these different things that women literally need. And women, you know, they're nurturers and they can tend to the house. And most women don't want to even do that. They can cook you a meal here and there and and they can, you know, do some laundry. Well, most women, they don't even want to be traditional women. And they want these guys who are so attractive, who make so much money, who have all these different things going on. And then when that guy doesn't want to commit to them, when that guy doesn't want to be with them and and, and just uh, give their all to those women, they're like, well, all men ain't nothing. Well, no, you women are going for these guys who are players. Think about it. If you were over six feet tall, if you had a lot of money, if you had a lot of stuff going on, why would you commit to one female? And she's going to give you headaches. It's going to be a bill most likely. And a lot of these women, it's like a full-time job. They're emotionally stable. They're broken. They're broke financially. They want you to court them, do all these different things. And as a man, you're like, man, I'm over six feet. I'm six three personally. You know, you make good money. You got things going on. What's the point of me settling down right now? I want to uh, sow my wild oats. I want to smash this chick. I want to smash that chick. I want to take advantage. I want to live life to the fullest. Just like these women have these hot girl summers. Guys who have made it, who are going somewhere, who who are attractive, who have a vision, a goal, who, who make money, who has a steady income, they're not really trying to get with one girl. Most dudes who try to settle down with one chick or marry a chick, more often than not, he can't get other women. He can't get consistent sex. Let's just be honest. So he's like, Man, I got to choose this one chick because I got to hold on to something that I really, if ever, going to get again. Is having an Android a deal breaker? Yes. You cannot have no Android. You a lame ass. If you don't have two iPhones, I can't fuck with you. Two iPhones? Yes. What regular has two iPhones? No, if you got money, you got two iPhones. At least three. Okay. Next question. All right, what's the capital of Florida? Miami. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, 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 She's just my tight then. Wow. <laughs> He's trying to wife a chick who's a 304. She's for the street. She's from the universe. She's promiscuous. A lot of women, they will tell you that, listen, I'm trying to do my thing. I'm trying to have fun. I want no strings attached situationships. Uh, I'm trying to do whatever I want to do. I ain't trying to be no housewife. I ain't trying to settle down. And most of these men, because they're not used to getting attractive women or women who are above average in looks, 
They see a, a girl who looks good looking. As soon as they talk to her, they try to lock her down. That's beta mentality. And you can tell that that guy is not used to getting the type of quality or caliber of women like that. Not saying she's a quality chick. In Miami, because he's there, he's like, you trying to be a housewife? What are you trying to wipe these chicks up for? You can clearly see she has tattoos here, tattoos there all on her chest and everything. And this dude is trying to simp and trying to lock her down. Guys, be careful. This is how women get you. And if she was a smart girl, she said, okay, yeah, cool. And she would have milked him for his bread. She would have took him for all these words because he's not used to getting uh, decent looking women. You can just tell by the way he's coming off. And he's like giving her a hug and everything and, and act like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's live it up. She's telling you, these women will openly tell you by their body language, by the things that they have on, by their tattoos, by the way they act, the way they talk, the aura, that they're for the streets. Do not ignore the red flags because she looks somewhat decent. You never had a girl like her. Uh, you in Miami, you in Vegas, you in, you in all these different places. Oh, I, I got a wife something. Stop doing it because these women will see you as a mark, take advantage of you, drain you of your pockets. They won't drain your pipe. Then you're going to be left confused and saying, I thought she was the one. Because you think just because she's attractive, yeah, I found a, the girl that's going to be for me. Vet these women properly. Stop thinking with this head and think with this head. Understand, if you put a ring on Shawty Finger, you, you, are, you literally have everything to lose and nothing to gain. Because everything you get from Shawty, you getting it already before you even wife her. Mine? So okay. I, right. I, I, I I say like this. If you wife a jump, she better be up here. Because everybody understand, when you give a girl security, she going to drop. Exactly. So if yeah, she I'm right saying, here, yeah. if she right here, you give her security, she going to drop here. <laughs> so if I'm wifing her, she going to be up here. So when she drop, it'll be right there. I said it right there. You feel me? That's my logic. Hey, uh Here's the fun part. Okay, go ahead. Ew. You're kind of ugly. That's a, that's a, yeah. And wait, wait, I'm the ugly one? Yeah. Look in the camera. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Question that we have today is, are y'all single or y'all taking? I'm single. Yeah. Happily married. Happily married. Oh, okay, then. I like them just like that. No, oh, I just, okay. I was just she got a so look, cardio watch on. Let's be spicy, because I'm born there. Okay, bet. Well, I dated him. FaceTime your husband and give me a kiss on the camera. Oh, you're oh, crazy. So I tried it, I tried it. Well, how about this? $10,000. No, I'm happy you need oh, to make Girl, he works at a restaurant. Okay, but I love him. I'm like, no, you're that tripping. Is. Well, look, how about this? $50,000 is my last and final offer. Girl, you this FaceTime that dude? Girl, this will help you. It will help. You're seeing okay. a horn, baby. It'll help me. Fine, fine, fine. 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 She needs she need. Privacy. She's not loyal. Mm. She belonged to the streets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> Money is the root of all evil. Remember that, guys, especially when it comes to women. They will do anything strange for a piece of change, if you know what I mean. They'll do anything for a 4 for 4 from Wendy's and a Frosty, $40. It don't got to be $10,000. It don't got to be $50 like that skit. But they will do anything when it comes to money. They're all about security. They're all about getting themselves to the next level. They're all about bettering themselves and, and getting security. So they don't care if they have to screw a guy for money, if they have to take him for child support, if they have to take him for alimony. This is why so many homes are broken because so many women want the money. They want the cash and prize. They want all these different things, these benefits of divorces without actually putting in the work, without actually being with the guy. And it's a sad thing. Because so many women are scammers by nature. This is how they are. They have to seek security. They have to put themselves first. So if that means destroying their relationship, destroying their marriage to a loving guy, even if he works at a restaurant, even if he... They're like, man, I don't care about that dude. Because women are with men, unfortunately, as sad as it is, for security and genetics, for their offspring. They think about themselves and themselves first. So if you think a woman loves you unconditionally, she's always there, you're working hard at that restaurant, you're at that warehouse, you're at the construction site, you're doing what you gotta do, working 10, 12 hours a day, and you think she's not gonna hook up with another guy if she doesn't see a benefit, trust me, she will. If she sees a guy who's gonna help her out in life, even if he's, uh, he's more attractive, he drives a better car, he has a, a better lifestyle, a lot of women, not all, will hook up with that guy because they want to better their life due to hypergamy. Remember, they're always trying to do better. This is just the female. So you can think that, man, I'm providing for her. I'm there for her emotionally. I took her on vacations. I did this. If another guy comes with a bag, if another guy comes with some more money, and you'd be amazed what your girlfriend or your wife will do for $100, for $40.
You'd be like, wow, my girl's that cheap? Yeah, most women are because they want quick money. Most women, it's just in them to do this, to give their body to a guy, and then they get some money in exchange. This is what basically relationships and dating is. Them giving their body to you, uh, basically on a temporary basis, and then as long as you act right, as long as you keep providing, they'll keep giving it to you. As long as you keep making them feel good and keep them excited, they'll give you their body. But the minute another guy comes along, has more money, makes them feel better, it has more swag, is tall or whatever, they're going to say, you know, forget this guy. It's in women to do this. It's in their nature. Don't get mad. Most women will jump to the next guy as long as he has more than their current guy. Who cheats better, men or women? Women. Who cheats more? Men.